How important is winning in tennis? Well, I'm here to tell you that winning is by far the most important thing when it comes to tennis. When you're playing a tennis match, the only goal that you should have is to win that tennis match. I'm gonna give you two scenarios. Scenario number one, you're playing some of the best tennis of your life. You're playing absolutely amazing, but you end up losing. Scenario number two, you play some of the worst tennis of your life. You're playing absolutely horrible, but you end up winning. Which one do you choose? Well, any high level tennis player is gonna tell you the same thing. They wanna win. This is the only goal that we have as tennis players because we know how important it is to win when it comes to our confidence. See, what confidence is, is your perceived probability of success, which in turn is based on a successful history. And that's how you build confidence in tennis, which is through winning. So let me tell you a story about myself that relates to the topic of how important winning is when it comes to tennis. So this is going back 20 years ago. There was a big prize money tournament in Germany and I played in the first round. I got a really good draw. I played against a wild card. It was some guy from the local club. This guy was recreational level. This is normally a match that I should win 0-0 or maybe 1-1 one one if I don't play so well. But what ended up happening is that I played maybe the worst match of my life. I played absolutely horrendous. I lost the set, I think I won like 6-3 in the third. And my best friend who was also in the tournament was watching me play this match. And he told me afterwards, Nick, this is absolutely the worst tennis I've ever seen you play. Now I remember vividly how I was feeling after that match because even though I played horrible I was so happy to have won because I felt so much tension so much pressure in that match for whatever the reason may have been and I felt so much relief and I was actually quite happy even though I played horrible but what happened then was some of my best tennis that I've ever played. In the next three rounds I beat players that were in the top 500 at the ATP in the semi-final. I beat a German guy that was super highly ranked in Germany, top 20 in Germany. He was top 300 ATP. Maybe the best result I've had that year. And in the final, I ended up playing as Andre Pavel, who was as high as 11 in the world. And I played so well in that match, I only lost serve one time. And I regard this tournament as one of the best tournaments I've ever played. So think about it this way. In a short time span, we're talking about playing matches on the same day. I went from playing some of the worst tennis of my life to playing some of the best tennis of my life. And this is only possible because I ended up winning that first match. So what does winning give you? It gives you confidence, it gives you a chance to compete again because you're going to be playing on in the next round and in addition to that often when you play really bad and you end up winning this is some of the highest value you can get as a tennis player because it shows how much character you have as a tennis player see it would be easy when it's not going well when it's not your day to throw in the towel and just say ah this is not my day you know what i'm going to lose this i'm going to go home i'm going to try another time and then when you're feeling really well uh, you're feeling great about your game and you're going out there and winning, that's actually a lot easier than having to win when you're playing absolutely horrible. I'm gonna quote John McEnroe. They asked him, what is the sign of a champion? And McEnroe said, is the ability to win a match when you're playing your worst. And think about how many times we've seen this from the GOATs, from Federer, Nadal, and Djokovic. How many times have they struggled in the early rounds of Grand Slams? They played against a lower ranked opponent and there was a four set or a five set match and they end up winning the tournament anyway and interestingly they win easier in the later rounds compared to the earlier rounds in some of the grand slams and that is exactly why winning is so important tennis is a game after all when you are on the court you are dealing with a lot of emotions you are dealing with so many different factors and you got to figure out how to come through on the other end and end up as the winner there is so much value in this and therefore i say that winning is absolutely the most important thing when it comes to playing tennis now what about losing well even the goats are gonna lose it is part of tennis especially if we're talking about an average level tennis player at the high level they're gonna lose all the time they're not gonna get to win tournaments that often maybe one or two tournaments they win but every tournament an average tennis player enters and i'm talking about myself as well I won some tournaments, but the vast majority of tournaments that I've played end up losing. So here's the important distinction. Even if you lose in a tournament, the way tennis is structured, you might collect some wings along the way and you can build your confidence that way as well. Remember, every win that you get 
will build your confidence. Why? Because confidence is based on your perceived probability of success, which is in turn based on a successful history. So the more wins you collect, the more your confidence will grow. So when it comes to losing, this is something that we have to deal with as tennis players, but the way tennis is structured, it's not like the Olympics in track, for example, where you compete at the Olympics every four years. In tennis, we can always play uh, the next tournament that's gonna be happening next week. So what you have to do as a tennis player is have short-term memory when it comes to losses. Also, sometimes when you play somebody really good who, who you expected is gonna beat you, Oh, I know, you end up taking a set away. And this is also a way to build your confidence because you know you've played well against a really high level opponent. But generally speaking, when it comes to losses, when you lose, don't lose the lesson. So guys, if someone is telling you it's not important to win, but it's important to play well, this is absolute nonsense. Tennis is all about winning. The sign of a true champion is to be able to win when they're playing their worst. It is easy to win when you're playing at your best but unfortunately there's going to be days when you're going to be playing horrible and this is where you have to prove yourself and end up as the winner